911. What's your emergency? We have someone choking. We're giving him the Heimlich. We need someone out here immediately. OK, and do we know what he's choking on? <laughs> uh, he's a beast. Tell me, is he able to breathe at all? No, he's losing consciousness. He's not able to stand up okay. anymore. All right, I have fire and EMS en route to you, OK? He's blue, ma'am. He's blue. He's foaming at the mouth and he's blue. Can you turn him on his side? Ma'am, we need help immediately. Listen to me. We need to do the Heimlich maneuver again, ma'am. You're going to put your arms around his waist and make a fist for me. Arms around his waist. Grab him with the other hand above the belly button. Jerk really hard, and it's a quick motion up into his stomach. Up into his stomach. And I keep doing that until he can breathe, talk, or cry. As hard as you can. As hard as you can. You're going to have to keep going until they arrive. Please, please, please. Ma'am, he's blue. He's blue. All right, ma'am, they're in route to you. I am headed to a person that was initially choking on a piece of meat and then went unresponsive and stopped breathing. So this sounds like a full airway obstruction, which can very rapidly then progress into respiratory and cardiac arrest. If it is a full obstruction, especially with food, we can try to, you know, pull it out of their throat, see if we can ventilate them to the point where they start responding again and breathing. This is one of those true life or death moments where every second matters because there are two things that are happening. Number one, he's not getting any oxygen to his brain and to his organs. And number two, his heart's gonna stop. Right here? Oh, yes, he sure did. Okay, 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 we're gonna help him. On scene. No, 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 don't do the Heimlich. You can stop, don't do the Heimlich. We're gonna get him. Once a patient reaches the level of being unresponsive, they cannot support themselves in an upright position, and so the Heimlich maneuver is not appropriate anymore for this patient. Do y'all know what he's choking on? He's a Hurry up and get the stretcher. Get out of the way. Hey, don't go get him on the stretcher. Let's go. Get everything off. Get his legs. Hold on, guys. I got Everyone relax. You ready? Yeah, what? He's at all right now. I am responding to a call for a male that is choking on a piece of steak. While choking, this patient started to panic, which is how he maybe ended up outside. He is unresponsive, purple from head to toe, and barely breathing. This guy has a full airway obstruction. Grab the airway roll if you can get the gills. All right, buddy. We got All right, we got, we got you, man. Got I know, I know. We got the first thing that I do is grab our video laryngoscope and the McGill forceps. So in being able to visualize what is in his throat, I can come in with the forceps, grab it, and pull it out manually. Oh, let go, buddy. Let go. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Sit up. Hey, man. He's still got a large chunk of it in there. <laughs> Spit? There we go. <laughs> Can you speak to us? Tell us your name. There you go. All right. Ooh. Can we try to put that oxygen mask on you for a minute, bud? All right. Just take some deep breaths for now. It's, and you're also going to feel some swelling and some things like that. So don't want you to keep coughing if we can't get anything up, all right? He's able to talk to us, but he doesn't really know what happened. He doesn't realize he just almost died. Oh, you were kind of blue, You were purple, yeah. So good. <coughs> I would, um, if this is what he's going to do. I'm just going to go for like. Yeah, I would go to the hospital just because he's going to have some airway swelling. Okay. They may want to just tube him. Is that your family out there, buddy? Wait, I'm going to go let them know just since, they're, since they're so freaked. What? Hey guys, so we have the piece out. He's up, he's breathing on his own, okay? Um, we're gonna, of course, transport him to the hospital because I do still, there is still a piece in there, but he is up, he's breathing on his own, and he's aware. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can look at him for a second. They just wanna look at him for a second, but we still have a lot to do, okay? His outcome should be phenomenal. Without our intervention, this person could have very much been deceased. 6249, you can show me clear. So 3244, code three to university with one patient. 
Yeah, that was a bad one. That dude almost died in front of him. I just pulled a whole piece of steak out of your mouth. That's a sexy thing. That's a sexy thing. That dude's got to be so thankful. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom <laughs> You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.